Let us discuss research updates on quantum dots, research progress on quantum dots. Quantum dots are phenomenal materials. Look at this diagram. This is bulk, three-dimensional big material. We have valence band and we have a conduction band. Between these two, two bands we call band gap energy, right? Once we decrease the size from bulk to nano, such as 8 nanometer, 6 nanometer, 4 nanometer, 2 nanometer, there is a significant change in this energy. You can see here from this arrow that the band gap energy increases. As a result, there is a significant change in the up to electronic devices. If it is LED, if it is photovoltaics, or if it is any other devices. So let's know what are the updates, what is the progress in quantum dots. This is Scopus, and I just give keywords quantum dots, right? Look at this here. This shows years and this shows number of documents. These are number of documents. You see here, documents. In the form of research, papers and books or book chapters. So look the 2021, so we have 8,200 documents. In 2022, the number of documents increases. You see here, 8,837. And this number is growing from the beginning, right? This quantum dot field is not limited to a single domain. Let's see here, subject area. Let me show you all here. These are subjects in this particular category. These are the number of documents published. Physics and astronomy, you see here, these number of documents since the quantum dot inception. Material science, engineering, chemistry, it's not limited to a single field. You see here, computer science, medical energy, medicine, environmental science. You just go and count here, you see. Decision sciences, they also use quantum dots. Oh my God. Neurosciences, social sciences as well, you see here. Nursing, maternity, dentistry. So there are so many diverse fields, they use quantum dots, right? Now, these are basically, you see here, these are basically uh, documents uh, in the form of uh, quantum dots. They they, 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 they they just use graphing quantum dots, you see here. Now, when I click this view publisher, so it will open a document here. If I have access here to this article, I, I will download the article, right? If I do not have access, so I will use some other sources to download this article. This is scientific report article, this is open access journal. So you can read this online, you see here. Now, if you do not have access, so what you have to do? Let me show you, okay? There are many ways. For instance, you are looking on quantum dots and uh, you just uh, go to nature and uh, write the word quantum dots. Similarly, you go to science and write the word quantum dots. Similarly, you go to ACS, ACS, which is the world largest scientific society. Just go there and write the word quantum dots. Similarly, RSC, they have 52 journals. You see here, similarly, IEEE, Elsevier. Similarly, Wiley. Let me let me show you here, Wiley. For example, this is Wiley journals. Here, you see here, they have a 1600 plus journals. So you just write, you see here, search for publication article keywords, you see here, they already mentioned here. Keywords, like quantum dot is my keyword. And if you know articles, you write articles, right, right? So it will just search and it will give you a lot of information. Now the question is, if you do not have access to YLA or ACS or Nature, so what we have to do, simply uh, you may have access, if you do not have access, so you, you need to have a network, uh, a network of researchers like uh, ResearchGate, you can uh, ask from, from researcher to send the article. If you have friends in other countries, they may have access because when I was in Malaysia, so we have a lot of access to ACS, RSC, right? In my current institute uh, in Pakistan, we have also access to Elseviers. So I have access to Elsevier. You might have access to nature. Some other person also have access to science. Some other have to access ACS. So through this network, you can collect all the research article uh, for quantum dots, right? Uh, if you, if, let me analyze the result here. You will see here. 
that this is very very growing field here so you can uh, see uh, this is the number of documents here you see here this field is growing field there is a short uh, declination in 2020 10 but this field is a growing field right this is very interesting field now you look here that uh, as i as i mentioned that subject wise uh, this is very interesting not limited to a single uh, uh, field material science you see here engineering uh, chemistry chemical engineering bio computer science mathematics energy and medicines so this big picture shows that these quantum dots are a growing field and it's not limited to a single uh, domain right you see here this chinese academy of sciences you can also search by authors uh, this is by territory as i as mentioned china is leading here uh, almost 40000 uh, documents followed by united states germany japan india you see here this was all about the research updates on quantum dots